For a while now, the MDX has been the top-selling fancy three-row crossover car. It's the perfect choice for families. Acura combined this SUV's good looks with a reasonable price, especially compared to its rivals. Let's look at what exactly makes this SUV so good, and you can discover if it's the right SUV for you. The 2023 Acura MDX is a seven-seat midsize SUV offered in six trim levels. The base MDX model, Technology, A-Spec, Advance, Type S, and Type S Advance. The base and technology trims come standard with front-wheel drive and offer all-wheel drive as an option. All other MDX trims come standard with all-wheel drive. Performance and fuel economy. The regular MDX has a 290-horsepower engine and a 10-speed automatic transmission. It can come with front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive if you want. It's not very impressive. It's smooth but lacks power. It takes 7.5 seconds for an MDX Advance to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour, which is slower than most other similar luxury SUVs. Fortunately, the MDX Type S with its turbocharged engine and sportier setup is a bit more fun to drive. The car has something called Super Handling All-Wheel Drive, which means it can send up to 70% of the power to the rear wheels, making it feel sportier. The A-Spec model is mainly about looks. Behind the wheel, it doesn't feel very different from past MDX models. Steering is light and handles well, providing a comfortable ride. Some perks particular to the A-Spec model include sport-inspired exterior styling, a flat-bottom steering wheel, metal sport pedals, and ventilated front seats. The A-Spec doesn't offer some of the extra luxury features that the Advanced model has. Acura fixed this issue with the RDX in 2022 by introducing an A-Spec Advance that combines both packages. The sporty Type S MDX, however, has a more powerful 355 horsepower engine and comes with all-wheel drive. The Type S is noticeably faster than the regular model. It takes only 5.5 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour, while the base model needs 6.4 seconds. The regular MDX gets 19 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon on the highway, while the Type S version gets 17 miles per gallon in the city and 21 miles per gallon on the highway. The A-Spec model gets 22 miles per gallon while moving on the highway at 75 miles per hour, which is not that great. The Type S model did a bit better and got 23 miles per gallon. The MDX is really good at steering and handling. Acura's super handling all-wheel drive makes it even better in wet weather. It's comfortable to ride in but can turn like a small SUV. The steering feels accurate and natural, whether you're going around corners or on a long highway trip. Exterior and Price The front of the MDX showcases Acura's latest design style, featuring their diamond pentagon grille with a big Acura emblem in the middle and distinctive shapes around it. The A-Spec model has a more aggressive design. The grille is finished in black, giving it a stealthy appearance compared to the usual chrome finish. The headlights are equipped with full LED lights that have a crystal-like appearance. There's also Acura's signature chicane LED daytime running lights and turn signals beneath them. Moving onto the wheels, the base MDX comes with standard 19-inch alloy wheels, but the technology trim level and above get larger 20-inch wheels. There's also an option for 21-inch alloy wheels on the high-performance Type S model. The mirrors come with standard heating and blind spot monitoring built into the pillars. If you opt for the technology trim level or higher, you'll also get power folding mirrors. In terms of its overall length, it measures 198.4 inches, which places it between the Volvo XC90 and the Audi Q7 in terms of size for this segment. It's not as big as some of the larger German SUVs like the GLS and X7. There are no roof rails on any MDX except for the advanced model, so if you want roof rails, you'll need to go for the top tier trim. The exterior of the MDX gives off this classy and athletic appearance. Now, let's talk about the pricing for the MDX. Prices will go up by about $2,000 to $3,000 depending on the trim level. The base model starts at $49,050, the technology model at $53,750, and the A spec at $59,450, and the advanced at $63,000. Interior and cargo space. The inside of the MDX looks and feels really nice, especially in the fancier versions. These versions have special leather on the dashboard and a mix of wood and metal with shiny black touches. Acura also added a lot of comfy things inside, like air conditioning that you can set separately on each side, heated front seats, and seats covered in leather. The front seats are comfy and you can adjust them in 16 different ways. They can even give you a massage. The MDX might have the most comfortable front seats among similar luxury SUVs. The first and second rows have lots of room for passengers, but the third row is only for kids. The second row seats, while not as comfy as the front ones, can still recline and move. The climate control system is easy to use, however, there are no vents in the back seats except for some of the middle console for the second row and none of the third row. The seat heaters work well, but seat ventilation isn't very effective. Comfort is crucial for the MDX, and it does a fantastic job in that apartment. It handles bumps smoothly, the seats are super comfy and quiet inside. The auto start-stop system turns off the engine when you stop, and that's standard. It's okay, not the best, but you can turn it off with a button. 
Even though the inside looks good and has many handy features, it's not as fancy as the insides of some of the other cars like the Genesis GV80 or the Volvo XC90. But when you consider the price, it's a steal. The 2023 MDX has a big 12.3 inch screen for things like maps and music. It also comes with a touchpad on the center console to control it, but some people find it a bit tricky to use. Inside, there's a 12.3 inch digital reconfigurable gauge display that can show different things like your speed and directions. The car also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can connect your phone, in-car navigation, a Wi-Fi hotspot, and a place to charge your phone wirelessly. If you choose the technology trim, you get a nice stereo system called the ELS Studio. But if you go for the A-Spec or Advanced models, you get an even fancier 16-speaker ELS Studio 3D setup. The MDX is good at carrying stuff since it has a lot of space in the back, 18.1 cubic feet, which is more than many other similar SUVs. You can fold down the seats in the back to make even more room. And there's extra storage under the floor. In the front, there are big pockets in the doors and good-sized bin in the middle for your stuff. You can also put three child safety seats in the middle row. If you want to tow something, the MDX can pull up to 5,000 pounds with all-wheel drive. That's enough for a small trailer, but some other SUVs from Europe, like the Audi Q7, can tow more than 7,000 pounds. For the front-wheel drive MDX, it can tow only up to 3,500 pounds. Safety Regarding safety, every MDX comes with Acura Signature Safety Suite as standard. This includes features like forward emergency braking with pedestrian detection, lane keeping assist, automatic high beams, and adaptive cruise control. If you choose the technology trim level or higher, you'll also get front and rear low speed braking as part of the package. By most measures, this premium family hauler is very safe. The IIHS and the NHTSA bestow its highest honors on it, with a top safety pick plus and a 5 star crash rating, respectively. This MDX offers a lot of luxury and value for its price compared to its rivals. Overall, the 2023 MDX is very impressive. It's a strong offering, modern, stylish, capable, family friendly, and a good value for what it offers. When you compare it to other luxury SUVs, it competes very well but beats them hands down in terms of price. And that's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching our review of the 2023 Acura MDX A Spec. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel with your notifications on. It really helps us out. Like the video as well. Remember, life's too short to drive boring cars, and we'll see you in the next one.